Well, I just decided to make a very short upload of just the smoking because it's, it was fun doing today. It was a rainy day, a wasted day for anything else but watching TV and on the computer and going outside to mind the fire, the smoke for the fire. Well, it were, I, and I don't think I have to talk anything over it because I will be speaking on each one of the videos I uploading. So, hope you enjoyed this little thing. It's what I do. It's what I like. Ciao. Well, hello. Today is August the 13th. It's a very rainy day. It is raining as we speak. But I have found some salmon for a cheap price. And I'm just doing some more smoked salmon. This is coho salmon. It turns out beautifully. And I started up my smoker at 7 o'clock in the morning. And by tonight at 6 I should be, it should be ready. I will get wet a little bit. But hey, life is tough. And that salmon is delicious. I bought the salmon because it's a price seven ninety something a pound. It is cozily frozen, the whole filet, and uh, it was so good the first filet I bought that I went yesterday to buy two more, and I'm smoking them now. I'm only in to it for a few minutes and look how well the smoking is working. I really learned a few tricks with how to set up the smoking style without heat. I tell you, I chose this day today simply because it's a rainy day and the temperature will be below 20 degrees, way below, around 15. Last time I smoked, I smoked in the heat of 30 degrees in the sun. And that made the heat so hot that it, it sort of semi-cooked the smoke. It's still very tasty, but it was too much cooked for my taste. Well, it is now almost 10 o'clock. We have three hours of smoke already under our belt. The smoker is working really well today. And the cold smoke is doing a wonderful job. I have a double layer underneath here. I got some more salmon. So, this should be a most delicious affair. Most delicious. Okay, we got now one o'clock afternoon. I just restarted the fire. I took a little nap for an hour and the fire went out. So, I just restarted the little pot and we we, this was five, six hours in the smoke. We're doing at least five hours more. Then should be ready to be served. Well, we got now almost uh, 3, 3.30, 3.45. I just restarted one more, the last smoke. When this fish finished smoking, I will actually take the salmon out because I believe it is ready and done. I should show you this. And it's looking quite quite nice. Yes, it will be it will be done. Well, it is four o'clock and I will take out my smoked salmon. Wow, it feels like uh, already now it smells delicious and I think it will be a big success. Those are little bits and pieces to practice to eat. Those are the belly cuts. Little snacks for the next few days. Oh my god, this will be so delicious. Well, a big, big result here. Big, big result. 
Well, I got here my recall. This is the side flaps and the very small pieces for quicker eating. This is the color of of the salmon. It is beautiful. The red coho salmon color. Very completely raw smoked. Delicious stuff. Oh, I will wrap it up. Tomorrow it will go in the freezer, some of them. I will probably bring some to Marielle too. Alrighty. I should have mentioned what how I use my... Well, first of all, sorry, I use more than my working t-shirt. I didn't think of putting on something cleaner. <laughs> I mean, I'm working as a smoker all day. There will be black and, and stuff with grease on it. But um, I forgot to mention that I use uh, my own spice salt for this. I created with uh, two parts of salt, uh, kosher salt if possible, and uh, one part of sugar. Then I add some dill wheat, dry dill wheat into it, quite a lot. I like it, the flavor with dill wheat coming through. Salt and pepper, of course. Well, salt is already in pepper on, on top of it. And that's it for me. That's, that's enough for getting my smoking ready. I put it on yesterday, I, I, I got it frozen, defrosted it quickly. At around 12 or 1 o'clock, I salted it. Not too heavy, because I realized if I do it too heavy, the saltiness, it's gonna stick with it. One way, it will work through. So I put it in, and uh, about 12 hours later, at 1 o'clock, I put it in. Around 1 o'clock at night, I strained the water, That a lot of water comes out with the salt. So I threw the water away and this time I did add just a little bit of salt with a salt shaker on top of every every of the fillets and keep put it in, in again in, in the plastic bag to get ready for the next day and then there it is, that's it. Well, it was a big success. I, I'm happy I did this. I just put away to cool down. I mean, some of the temperature is around 100 degrees. It's some um, summer outside, so along with the black color of the smoker, it, it heats up. But it's beautiful. It's very raw. It's delicious, easy to cut, stays in one piece. I don't remember having that. Well, this is perfect. I, if I ever do it again, I will use frozen coho fillets again.